Hi, this is Edmund with All Weather Fire Starters. Today I want to show you how to connect your flint with your magnesium when your flint falls off. Check this out. All right, first things first, I want to kind of clean these up a little bit. These are my demos that I use throughout the gun shows and stuff like that. So they get a lot of use and eventually the flint does wear down. So what I want to do is replace this flint. Actually, I'm going to add another one next to it because this can still be used as my demos. These can still be used as my demos in the shows and stuff like that. So it saves me some money there. First things first, we are going to do some cleaning. I have a wet rag here. So what I want to do is clean off all that dirt and carbon from starting fires throughout the gun shows. I'm going to clean that there. This is a damp rag. Clean both sides real good. Got that one. And then here's another keychain model. These smaller versions are my Scout 2s. So if you go to the website, you can see them there. All right, so now that I got that cleaned up, next thing I want to do are my flints. Check this out. These flints all have dirt, grime, and oil on them. My fingers are clean. I'm going to pull it up like that. And you see that dirt and grime on there. So that's important that you take that off. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So what I'll do is take my wet rag, clean them up, get all that dirt and grime. Because if you don't get that all off, the JB Weld won't hold on to it. And it's going to pop right off after a while if you don't clean that off. So I'm to, I've got three fire starters here that I want to clean. Two, we got one more. And again, going to clean the flints off real good. I'm using a damp rag. All right, so I got those cleaned off. Next thing I want to do is just use my JB Weld. I've got two types. I've got the one that will harden in like 12 hours. And then for this demo, I want to do the JB Quick. And that seems to work okay too. So let's try some JB Quick. Get the equal amounts that you're going to want to use. I'm just going to use a little bit. You've only got three of them to put together here. Got that there. That's good. All right. So next thing I'm going to do, mix it up. So just give it a few minutes there. Mix it up real good. And I usually do this for about two minutes, so I'm gonna probably gonna to have to cut out here in a little bit. I don't want, I don't think you guys wanna see me doing this for a couple of minutes here. So I'm just gonna stir this up real quick. Again, I usually do it for like a minute or two, just to make sure I get a good mixture on it. And also while I'm doing this, that's giving those flints and that magnesium time to dry out from that wet rag that I just used to uh, clean them off. All right, here we go. A couple more turns. All right, set that aside there. Now what I'm gonna use is just like a little plastic something to hold on to, uh, put the JB Weld onto. Now I gotta decide which side do I wanna put it on. Do I wanna put it on this side? I want to put it on that side. Now, the reason why is because this JB Weld from the previous one, some of it comes out too far and it won't sit well. So kind of play around, see which side works the best. I'm probably going to go with that side right there. Kind of like that and see what happens. Again, I'm just going to put some here. Get a good amount there. And I, I tell you what, I've been doing this for 25 years like this. I need to find a different way. That's a good amount of JB Weld right there, JB Quick. Take your flint. I'm just going to set it right there. And again, I'm using the JB Quick, which should harden in about 5, 10, 15 minutes. Make sure it's on there well. Good. All right. What I'm going to do here is just set this down here. Over. Don't fall over. There we go. 
Okay, we got one. Let's do another one. This is my handle. Again, I want to check to see which side I want to sit smoothly on. I'm going to go with this side right here. Put some JP Weld right there. Get enough of that on there. And I'll be using these again this weekend in my gun show. These will be my demos, so they get a lot of use. And also what I tell people is if you run out of your flint, don't throw away your fire starter because you can always order additional flints and add it to your fire starter. So your magnesium is always going to be good. Your handle is always going to be good. You can use those. With mine, you have a lifetime warranty on the large magnesium and also you have a lifetime warranty on the handle. So if you ever whittle your handle down, send it back to me. I'll send you a brand new one. All right. Also, you can get these flints. All right. So that looks good there. Got enough coming down there. Got enough right there to hold it together real good. Set that aside. That's number two. This is my Scout 1. This is a three-quarter inch diameter magnesium. You have lifetime warranty on this one. Uh, my flints are worn down. Like I said, these get a lot of use during the gun shows and craft shows and hunting and fishing expos. So I want to keep using these as my demos. All right, I got some, put some more JB Weld on there. It's getting hard already, so I got to hurry up. Got enough there. There we go there. Man, it's, getting, it's, it's hardening up pretty quick there. It is hardening up, I can tell. Bam, it's already hard. Wow. Wow, that's some good stuff. All right, so it looks like I got pretty good. Now, if I want to clean it up, there's some right here in the middle. So I'll just take my, clean it up there. I'll leave that part on the back side. I kind of like that. Right there to give it more support and that's it so you got the uh, demos that i use in my gun shows looks pretty good and that's going to last me for at least another two or two months maybe doing gun shows every weekend so if you want to purchase an all-weather fire starter swing by the website www.allweatherfirestarters.com and you can order them through there uh stay tuned i've got a lot of cool stuff i'm going to be showing you throughout this uh this year so uh Hang in there, stay with me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, just uh, keep sharing me with other people. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.